Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgium, and welcome back to Prey. Last time we ended up in a bit of a pickle. I've worked myself into a bit of trouble, and we ended up in the water treatment plant. But while looking at this thing, by the way, that water is full of those magic eels. Um, this room looks really like the node we saw before, and that node said to look at the right side of the entrance. So that's the because it was a room like this with three orbs, and the middle one was bigger than the other ones. It's really loud because of the voltaic um, phantoms, and you know what, I'm gonna have to deal with those two first. They're really close together, so I'm wondering if I can find a, a bit of a creative solution to this problem. There's another corpse over here with fear shielding. Does that also work? Oh, that's also on the psychoscope. So fear shielding grants resistance to fear. Fair enough. Now, does this actually open from the other side? I don't know what that noise was. But... Otherwise, there's not much here. Experimental work permit. The supervisor authorizing this request certifies that all safety factors have been considered and are satisfied. Work to be done, installment of psychoactive particle injector. I would like to get your approval to connect the PPI to the station water supply. In essence, the PPI will alter the composition of drinking water by one part per million by mixing exotic particles at regular intervals. Imbibing the water should positively impact psychoactive Potential. Dr. Hans Kelstrup. Wait. Psychoactive particles? In the water? I can turn on the power. And that will enable the recycler. Okay. Because there is a recycler in this area, but I couldn't use it. So now this door is also openable. Great. And we're not entirely in problems here next up there's this electrical panel over there i'm just gonna double tap that and then repair it like this because this is probably responsible for the electricity on the floors there's still one operator above here and then there was this tunnel over there where there's another voltaic guy and there we go a lot of minerals which is the most important one for me at least uh so i can make more bullets so this thing right above me is still freaking out i'm wondering if i can actually i think i can actually reach it through that walkway then at least that guy is out of the way so let's get to the disruptive stun gun and get the robot whacking so it's really close so i'm charging up with a fully powered charge. There we go. And that was a sneak attack, so I think it's almost down. There we go. And that's gonna explode. So those two voltaic phantoms are still freaking out. But I need a weapon. I need a weapon. But this seems like it's not good either. If I open this up. Oh yeah. There's another one of these. There we go. So the scan is complete, but this is going to be a problem. So let's save. And then I have one more null wave transmitter. Because the EMP doesn't seem to do anything. Um, glue cannon is probably not going to do anything either. Although I could try. I could try and reload if anything goes wrong. That actually seems to work. Um, shotgun. Shotgun, please. It is shocking me from afar here. I'm getting shocked by I don't know what. And I died. Okay, couldn't get out of the way. So I think the EMP charge actually works on this thing. If I throw that over here. I think I disable his electric capabilities. If I then use the glue cannon to freeze him in place, 
I can actually use the shotgun to finish him off with a few headshots. Now I'm getting damaged though. And there we go. He's down. He's down. Okay. So I can kill him. It does <laughs> waste a lot of resources. Holy crap. What do I get from this guy? Not a lot actually. In comparison to what I lost. Although it's all relative right? Because of all the food that I have right now. I'm going to focus on the food first. Because that's going to keep me topped up. Now we get another chip set, which is really interesting, and that is for the backpack, so eliminates drunken effects of alcohol. Fair enough, why not? Don't know how that works in a suit, but there we go, and this place is also filled with alcohol. As I saw over here, there's beer, and more booze. Cheers, vodka, that's a password, okay. Price Broadway's password, uh, okay. Let's leave that here, and the beetle gin, and the old sardar bourbon. That's all of that. Uh, I'm slowly regaining my health. I'm actually gonna pop another suit repair kit in a second as well, once my healing regeneration stops. Let's check out the terminal first. There's one terminal over here as well, with an email about harvesting protocols from Luther to Abigail. Abby, please make sure your crew takes extreme caution when handling the harvesting equipment. Recently, a bottle of Old Sarder bourbon was found in a batch of eels we sent up and I can only assume someone in our division accidentally dropped it in the tank. No one wants to chew glass when they bite into a Yunagi roll or anything else for that matter, okay? And then over here, I'm just gonna heal up and repair my suit. There we go. Vodka it is for Price Broadway. And then we got utilities. Unlock eel tank controls. Unlock processing terminal. There we go. Unlock that. And then if we go back, there's two emails on this. So, Ikea Price, I have always had your back, but you are pushing things too far right now. You have to get a grip. People are noticing, Price, people higher up the chain than us. Quit avoiding Dr. Cole and just go talk to him. Okay, and working on the influence. Hello, Price, according to the information I've received, you pose a danger to yourself and those around you. I cannot overstate the seriousness of attempting to perform your duties on the station while under the influence of alcohol. I've written a prescription for you. You must take the medication, refrain from alcohol, and remain in the crew quarters until we can meet. You are temporarily suspended from duty and Chief Ilyushin has concurred. Okay. So that brings us full to full health again, brings us up to speed about uh, Price's drinking problem, which is... Uh, Pretty, pretty substantial, so it seems. Just gonna quickly read the book. Not that I really care about that at the moment, since I have a... I still have a Voltaic Phantom problem. Does the EMP actually do damage? Because otherwise... I might just toss one down there. And... Toss it down there? That didn't really do anything. So I'm just gonna focus on upstairs first. With the disruptive stun gun. Should be able to do that. We have another corpse, Pablo Myers. The phantoms are freaking out. And now we have the water quality lab. Oh god, they're upstairs. Okay. That was not part of the plan. Shooting it at this point would be a bad idea, probably. Just gonna quick save. Ah, there it goes. Okay. Got it from here. The other one is still down. Went back down. That's great. Okay. So that's one voltage. Well, two voltages down. That's good. That's good. Can use a few more pistol bullets if I'm going to use this. But shotgun. Shotgun is a better option. We can go even higher. And the water quality lab seems to be locked off. I just want to finish up this area and then we'll collect our thoughts on how to proceed any further. Aside from some beer and a wrench, there doesn't seem to be anything here. Unless I can, I can climb up here, but what does that do for me? I don't see how this is going to help me much. So I can break the window. 
There we go. And if that operator was nice enough to join me here, although I can actually just move over here. Yeah, 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 this is the way. So let's get the disruptor stun gun. I still have enough charge. And then charge it up while opening up the door. There we go. And there it goes. Let it explode. There we go. It's another one down. So the only thing still alive in here is that one voltaic phantom in the... Well, I'm going to call it the basement. Unless... Unless... Still need to check. Unless there's a mimic in here, but I don't see one. Okay, there's... Ooh, is that mineral? Organic material. That's three of those. That's huge. Because you need to collect quite a few things. Two neuromods, also huge. More materials over here. One mineral, and two organics. So that's... Those are full stacks. And then another corpse. Johnny Brungen. Sorry, I'll take your jelly deals, Johnny. And another med kit. So those are all great items. Those are those are really, really great. I don't know if I actually need to fight that voltaic phantom in the basement. I feel like it's just going to be a waste of my time and resources. Although I'm not one to back away from a fight, though. So let's throw the EMP. Immediately swap over to the glue cannon. Setting it up and then... A few shotguns to the face, and then I think I should go for the QB. Oh, that's a problem. Weapon of line. Weapon of line. Um, and then go into healing immediately. There goes that. And then the... He's gonna hit me. Yeah, he killed me. Ooh, wow, he does a lot of damage. I think... The EMP charge is enough of a first throw. So if I throw that at him and then go with the shotgun without trying to uh, fuse him first. There we go, another one. He does hit me. And I can torch those hits, there we go. That's it. Just try to find the counter and hit him, hit him in the face with it. There we go. So I don't need to glue him because of course he can take care of that gluing. Let's get the eels over here. And of course whatever he was carrying, we just did that. What else do we have here? But so right underneath the tank, we unlock the controls. Eel extraction. Note the containment tank automatically monitors eel growth and will filter out juveniles eels during extraction. Let's do that. Oh! There was a mimic in there. I think I killed it in one go. That's good to know. All fully grown eels have been harvested at this time. Remaining eels must develop further for harvesting. Okay. And there's um, Which I'm assuming is Price's body. So the guy we heard about. And then the note over here. Inspect these things on time or it throws off his menu for the whole week. So Chef Mitchell. So they were just actually breeding these for food. And the black green ones are actually eaten. That's a bit weird. And then we have Price's body. Which actually contains a neuromod and a note. From Abigail to Price, Price, eels do a pretty good job of eating up all the waste, but there's buildup that even the eels can't clean off, so we have to scrape the tank every month. First, run the harvesting utility to clear out any mature eels. The utility is on the tank workstation. When that's done, you can enter the tank. I'd also suggest shutting off the effluent flow valve, unless you just like taking a shower in your co-worker's toilet water. And please watch your step. Eels are mostly blind, but they have a nasty bite and you don't want to get wounded in that water. Trust me. So does that mean we can get in there? Well, huh, doesn't seem like it. It's a bit too high for me. It's making a weird noise. But it was, of course... Yeah, surprise died because of the mimic in the tank. 
because he was drained like the other guys we've seen. But that's it for this area. I think we have a few eel scraps, but aside from that, they probably have a good organic value, I suppose. But otherwise, that's it, I think. But the shotgun does seem to do its job. We have six extra neural molds. Which I'm now going to use to upgrade our suit to the maximum level. Because I think that only uses six. Yeah, there we go. So, upgrade your Transtar uniform with extra inventory space and two additional chipsets. There we go. So now we can carry the world. Look at that inventory. Let's auto sort that as well. There we go. Look at that. That's really, really nice. Uh, man, I'm going to eat another banana. I was talking about the food situation, but... Seems like we're getting through that rather quickly. Um, what weapon can I upgrade? So I'm going to keep my weapon upgrade uh, kit because I feel like I can use that later on. Um, I have a lot of organic material. I just want to check if the eels... Yeah, the eels have a lot of... Uh, although it's a combined value, so not that much actually. Organic yield though. But it's not that much. Uh, we're going through our ammo as well, which is not that good. But, let's recycle that again. It gives us a bit more. Not extremely, but still a bit. But, now that we've done that, we've cleared out this entire area, so as far as I can see. Uh, I think it's high time we leave this area, because this is not where we actually need to be. Uh, so we're kind of wasting time. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, I saw that. So there's one of these alarm panels here. So if I... One, two, three. Oh no, this one doesn't work like that. Doesn't seem to work. I thought it was going to be every single one of those alarm panels, but apparently not. The only place we now haven't checked in this area is that hallway with the voltaic. So the escape bolts over here with the voltaic phantom. Now that I've turned the power on, this guy is um, guarding that area. Um, I'm gonna quick save and I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. So, EMP charge again. We now know how to do this. He's at the escape bolts. I'm just checking if there's only one of them. I actually need one more to scan. If he doesn't see me, he's blind, but... There we go, and then go to the shotgun immediately. There we go, got him in one round. That was nice. So there we go, Voltaic down in one go. Okay, okay. Just gonna check the, the Neuroscope, because I don't want to get surprised by another Mimic. So Umi Asisaka, and we can actually launch escape bolts. That's interesting. I'm not going to do that. Because, of course, we didn't want to follow um, the Sambu's um, instructions there. Just want to check out what's in here. So, fried hard drive and burned circuit board. Who left that in an escape bolt? And then closed off the system. And then this one needs to be repaired with repair tree. Ooh. What's hiding in there, then? This guy... Almost made it. Why did the lights go out? So Hank Major is another weapon upgrade kit, which is nice. You can use the button. Still nothing in those pods. So we have two left. One over here with another corpse. And a transcribe. That's going to tell us a bit about these people. So Emily Carter. Let's listen to that. And what she has to say. Have you seen Price? <sighs> what? He didn't show up for a shift again? He's not answering his transcribe. I even asked Abigail to check his cabin before she came in. HR is going to ship his ass home for sure this time. He was already on thin ice. Thought he was doing good. With the Naltrex on? Seeing Dr. Cole? I'll call security and have them track him down. Hopefully, he's okay. So there we go. We figured out that side quest in one go. Because, of course, we found Price in the eel tank. Which was, yeah, the sad demise of uh, Price. I didn't mean to rhyme there. Can I actually go down here? Should I go down here? Probably shouldn't. 
Although there might be goodies. There might be goodies, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and ignore that. I'm gonna try and ignore that. So the thing that's all the areas in life support. Which means that we can now try and make our way back to the crew quarters, which is basically where we need to go. I uh, don't think I have the code for this, right? Or do we? I don't seem to have the code for this. So that's still a room over here that's locked off. But otherwise, we should be fine. I'm going to make a few more items. And then I'm going to try to make our way back to the crew quarters. Which is in the lobby. Which is filled up with incredible huge monstrosities. Which we had a really hard time fighting when there was only just one. But we know there's at least three there. So sadly, medkits also take one metal, which is precious to me at the moment. But I'm gonna make a few of them as well. So there we go, I've wasted most of my metal. So metal is still the limiting factor, which is... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that. But I think I can get more metal if I destroy some of the environment with recycling charges. But we'll see about that when we actually need it. So next up, I want to go to lab tech. And for lab tech, we need to go to materials expert first. I made three neuro mods, so we can do materials expert immediately. And then we'll see about those next few neuro mods we need for the lab expert, uh, the lab tech work later on. So we can upgrade the uh, more scientific weapons. So there we go, materials expert. That gives us 20% more materials when recycling. So that's going to come in handy as well. So there we go, at least we know that that is there. So in case we need, wait a second. Did I just miss a consumable item there or did that drop from something else? I think I might have, because this is, there was a glue canister, so I definitely wouldn't have left those here. Something happened while I was gone. Don't know what exactly. We can't go over there because that's the cargo bay. I don't need to be there just yet. So we definitely just need to head towards the crew quarters. That's going to become a problem, isn't it? We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Let's go. So back in the big elevator. I want to wanna check that again. So for some reason, this is also an animation. Once I go in here, that animation takes over and I'm stuck in here. But let's go to the lobby again. Because I feel like the game wouldn't just put you in an area where you can't do anything. I feel like I'm invulnerable while in the elevator. This is still a hellhole. I think there's everything here. Because isn't that... No. So we have plenty of crystoids nests. We have this big huge mongoose hulk thing. Then a telepath over there. And... I mean, that's just... Oh god. Does that damage me? No. Nightmare? Nightmare is hunting you. Kill or evade the nightmare. Well, I can just press our bulletin. And I can say goodbye. Bye. Bye, nightmare. I could probably drink some booze to counteract that. Because that's probably the fear kicking in. Um, um, Jesus, Jesus, what the fucking hell, um, 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 this is bad. Okay, I'm freaking out. Oh no, that's a nightmare. Okay, never mind, um. Booze, booze, I need booze. Give me that moonshine. There we go, moonshine. That sounds like... Oh god, I can't drink it right now. I can't drink it right now. And I can't eat right now. And I don't have a weapon right now. What have I done? What is happening? Uh, let's get out. Let's get out. Can, can I now drink? Can I now drink, please? I'm not an alcoholic or anything, but let's drink that up. I need a lemon. So no, the nightmare is still haunting me. Why don't I have any weapons equipped? There we go. There we go. Let's drink that up. So, the plan is, since I can't really go through the lobby, I'm gonna follow the objective here. So, I'm wondering, now that we're still he back here, 
what actually happens to January now? Because January is in our office, which is in the atrium, which is now overrun by giant monstrosities. And I mean, she's an operator. She can just be corrupted as well. So what's to stop the Typhon from overtaking her and just pointing me in the wrong direction? I feel like that's going to be the issue, right? Okay, the nightmare is hunting you, but I'm fine. Yep. Okay, there we go. Objective complete. I didn't do anything for two minutes. And that kind of worked out. So, we still need to go to deep storage as well. I don't know why exactly, but let's do that. I mean, it's a marked quest. Might as well go down into the depths of... Oh no, we know what that is. We couldn't open the door. Never mind. Never mind. We could go in here. You know what? Let's do that. Let's go through the the exterior. So there's basically a small... Oh. Morgan, I've been wondering if it might be bothering you that you planned your own death. It's a lot to swallow. My advice would be try not to think about the end. Focus on what's in front of you. One step at a time. I'm here if you need help. Okay, so there we go, again confirming that we will probably die. So the crew quarters are actually over there, which is interesting, but I have a bit of a wish list over here, and I can finish up, because I think at least the hull breach I can do. I'm just going to try and push myself over here, because there's a hull breach. There's a hull breach over there. Oh, ow. Kind of fucked myself there. That was completely my fault, so I checked out this corpse, but the hull breach he was working on. I'm gonna have to fix my suit, give me a second. There we go. And there we go, the million dollar cork gun. Seal the hull breach. That's done. Um, and now we have the other airlocks available to us. I think I'm gonna go to the crew quarters if I can. So there's another hull breach over here, right next to the crew quarters, and there's clearly another crystoid, cystoid, cystoid, I keep saying crystoid, but there's no R there. So it's cystoids, so I'm assuming there might be a nest here as well, I don't know if these guys can actually survive without oxygen, there's a corrupted, wait. It's showing me a corrupted uh, operator, which is bad. Can I actually close this off? Probably not. There's the nest. So that's the nest taken out. Now I need to go and check the... The proper way up. Stop, stop, stop freaking out. I'm getting radiation warnings. Not sure if they're getting clearer or not. Oh god. There's a technopath here. Oh god, yeah, I'm losing my suit like this, of course. Oh god. That's a problem. Oh, and it's going haywire. There goes my suit. Okay. Whew. So that's not a good idea. I could use the disruptor stun gun, but... I have... I don't have a lot of ammo for that thing. Oh god, it's actually coming outside. It's holding a turret! Oh god. I am... And I'm dead. <laughs> what the fuck? Seriously. Okay, well that kind of screwed things over. Okay, so it saved right at the beginning of my outside trip. So change of plans. I'm going to seal the hull breach again, but then I'm going to go to Hardware Lab since I know that area. There we go. Seal that up again. Oh, God. Jesus Christ, that was terrifying. Okay, that was that was slightly disturbing. My suit blew up. I thought I'd, I'd taken out most of them. But um, clearly not. For some reason, I also switched over to a new EMP charge. Okay, so now I can go to Hardware Labs. 
The game actually changed his mind and suddenly sending me through hardware labs as well, so that kind of works out. So I opened this earlier and it has both a recycler and a fabricator, so here we go. So the reason I want to go through hardware labs is actually double that. It is also broken now. Um, because, okay. What is seeing me? What is seeing me? That was the noise of something spotting me. Can't really see what it's supposed to be. Oh god. That's an etheric phantom. Uh, how am I gonna get rid of that? Probably with the null wave emitter. I still have one. And then we can go into the shotgun because that blasts it straight across the. There we go. Taken care of. So that's the effects that we can probably counteract with alcohol as well. I'm gonna eat that immediately. There we go. So that kind of broke the turret. So these guys are now in here as well. That's freaking great. That is freaking great. So what was I saying? Yeah, hardware labs allows us to go back into the atrium at a higher level than what the elevator drops us off at. So that's gonna come in handy. I think I can now also... Nope, repair tree. Never mind. Can't do anything with that. I love that even this is still here. Just gonna quickly do a mimic scan. There we go. There we go. Let's recycle all of that. And we got a buttload more materials. And that kind of fills us up again. I don't really need anything else for now. But at least we get rid of our junk again. I thought I heard something. It might just be the background music. Because the background music is freaking out as well. So we need to make our way back out of the hardware lab. So I think this is going to be the safest option. We just go through here. And then duck over here, because there might be new phantoms, of course. Obviously. There's definitely an operator here, but I don't know if I even need to fight this thing. So it's on the left, but I think I can bypass it. As long as it just moves away. Although with two disruptive start charges, I can just take it out. There we go. Goodbye. Explosion. There we go. Still sounds because that gives us Q-beam cells. Oh, thank, I think somebody saw me. So there's definitely still another one. But over here where this dead guy is, I kind of made him the thumbnail of one of the episodes as well. I can move back here and that should get us out, if I'm not mistaken. If there aren't any more phantom suppress. I'm supposing there aren't. Although I can clearly hear one. Where is that? Is that turret in the closet? That wasn't really smart of me, was it? Ooh, there's a phantom over there. It seems is that a normal phantom? Yeah, it is. It is a normal phantom, so I think I can just move around it. This is still an arcane game, so we're gonna do this stealthily. And it's turning around, but I think I can slip on by. Goodbye. So there we go. Through hard labs. Hardware labs, not hard labs. They might be hard, but it's hardware labs. And we can go into the lobby again. So, back in the lobby. I'm just gonna eat one more thing. And that should get us to full. Now. Ooh, this genuinely scares me. I know there's a buttload of monstrosities here. And the radio active status effect is already kicking in. So there's crystoid nests. But I can deal with that. As long as it's that, we don't really have a problem. Okay, so this is out of the range of the cystoids. Uh, there's one around the corner here, so that's why. I should probably go over here. I can still hear movement, of course, but it's probably from behind, below me. Because this is where all hell is breaking loose, yo. So there's a telepath over there. 
There we go. So that's that. The cystoid nest we don't really need to check, but at least we're tracking them now. He's coming up. He's coming up. That's a problem. There we go. So he's just hanging about. I could probably take him out. Because I know there's at least... A, yeah, the weaver is down there. There we go. Please don't see me, Mr. Telepath. Lunch is served in the cafeteria. There we go. Backlash 2 available. Please refer to the weekly update for today's menu. Ooh, gold. He's diving down again. Okay. Okay. So the only thing I can't find right now... Without putting my... <gasps> That's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. Oh, gold. Oh, gold. Oh, Nelly. I just fell through the floor there. That's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a problem. Ooh. Okay. We survived. Why did that just drop away? That's not normal. How are we gonna kill that thing, by the way? Because, I mean, I can start shooting at it, but what... I mean, I did fall down already, so might as well try and... Oh, God. Yeah, try and ho fail horribly. My aim is gonna go down in history. I failed the universe. Okay. Okay, so we have the decryption key. Trauma center. That's not really where I want to go, right? It's in the crew... Oh, never mind. Seems to be over here. Seems to be over here, but this is... Okay, that's Hendrik de Vries' office. Let's just take a look around. That seems to be fine. I'm just gonna... Yeah, close the door. Close the door. Thank you very much. So now we're in Hendrik's office. Oh, I accidentally picked up his plate. Do we know this? No. Okay, let's start with the basics then. Files. Decryption key. Transfer that. Don't really know what I can do with that. What's the next objective? Listen to the decrypted transcribed message. Okay, let's let's do that first then. Okay, so I think it's this one from Hendrik to Alex. Alex! Damn it! Hold on, I'm encrypting the rest of this. Okay, Dr. Cole already wiped the recording of Morgan's breakdown off his computer. The last copy is hidden in his office. I'm not going back. You'll have to get it yourself. A C B A C. Good luck. Okay. So that gets us the DNA code. And what's what's our next objective then? Search Dr. Cole's office in the Talos 1 lobby. Hendrik, I need you to remove all sensitive material regarding the psyche files immediately. I think we saw that. And subject for quarantine, Trevor Young is one of our scientists. Okay, okay, can we open up this now? Nope, still not. So we need to find his key code. Um, I can actually... He's a fan of those cookies. So Dr. Cole's office is right over here, so next door. There doesn't seem to be anything new in here. I'm just checking around. I can actually take the baseball gloves now. Now that I don't know how valuable that materials are. I can check that out. There's another good cop, bad cop. Don't really need to check that out. But what is all this about? Utilities. Behavior tests. That's not that. But three files. Session log with Dr. Calvino. And then Sarah Elazar. Let's transfer those files. Just in case. I don't know why, but I can, so might as well take them with me. Oh Tell the, me about the, dream. the audio logs, the of dream. course. Yes. It's um it's always in my lab and um I'm standing in front of the glass. Are you alone? Uh, yes. What do you see in the glass? Well, nothing. At first, I don't want to turn it on, but I can't help it. I have to turn it on. When I do, it's like the heart of a black hole, an immense darkness. There's something swimming in the black. I catch glimpses, 
edges of the shape. I feel as though it wants to come through onto my side. I have to turn off the glass before it sees me, but I always wake before I can. What does it look like, the shape in the glass? I, uh, nothing. Does it look like this image here? Dr. Calvino, does it look like this? No, 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 that, that's... No, I, I don't... Um... Are you sure? Uh, where did you get that drawing? Have you been spying on me? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Wait a second. What does it look like, the shape in the glass? That's what the phantoms keep saying. What the hell is going on? And what does Matthias call up to? That is weird. Um, so let's go with Sarah. So he was trying to get something out of Dr. Calvino's dreams. Let's transfer Sarah Elazar's file. And listen to that. Sarai, come in. It's Sarah, but you can call me Chief Elazar, Matt. Matthias, please. Forgive me, but your name is Sarai in the file. We've been over this. My mother Americanized it. Will we be spending the next 59 minutes like this? Because we could cut it short right now. We've discussed your mother. I thought perhaps today we could speak more about the career choices that were born of that. Serving in the military wasn't an excuse to get away from her nagging, Matt. I was just... restless. And you're better now? Not restless? I'm fine. Because your last tour of duty was the evacuation, and reports from there... I saved as many as I could. For every soldier we lost, we were able to save a hundred civilians. Yes. Tragic. Still, to lose soldiers under your command... The cost was worth it, both in lives and the unification of the region. Taking on a losing battle like that? Fighting? Not enemy troops, but the equivalent of a natural disaster. It wasn't natural, it was man-made. It prepared me for here, Dr. Cole. Because this station? It's the same thing, a disaster waiting to happen. We are well-trained and poorly equipped. <sighs> the research is dangerous. Keeping secrets secret is dangerous. I'm sure you would agree. Okay. So, uh... Sarah was onto something there, but nothing especially new. And Danielle show. Let's listen to her conversation with uh, Matthias Cole. These psych evals are a waste of time. A waste of time? Like back on Earth? That was different. Was it? Anger, issues with authority. I... Oh, I'm sorry. Rough counseling doesn't sound like a trivial matter. Those files were supposed to be closed. Are you angry? I'm getting there. Any new relationships? No. I thought you and Miss Foy, the sanitation engineer, were seen together. She's a sanitation boss. And we're not in a relationship. Not anymore. Ah. And this separation, did it involve anger? Issues with authority? Screw this! I'm done. Report me to the U's, I don't care. They're putting the station at risk just like Transtar North and just like on Earthside. You assholes will bury it with your psych eval bullshit. And another thing. Okay. So there we go. We found voice samples of... I mean, those were voice samples of three people, right? But there's still something we need to find in this office. Probably regarding our problems. What was that? Did something just enter the area? We haven't checked the emails yet, so let's check that. Have my people been coming to you? Hey Matt, had another one of my people present a signed note from you for fatigue. I just want to make sure it's legit. Are there a lot of people coming to you with stress-related complaints? Or is it my imagination from Sylvain, so the guy from the beginning? Matthias, I don't know what to tell you. He walked into an experiment without a psychoscope and it went sideways. We couldn't contain it after that. They controlled him. My suspicion is the Typhon can force other beings, beings to s empathize with them. Maybe further down the road we can find a way to reverse engineer this and get them to empathize with us. Keep Mr. Young in quarantine. And quarantine subject. Anna, please keep your staff away from the quarantine area. We have a potentially contagious subject in there who is suffering from memory loss. 
At this time, only Dr. Cole and myself have access. Please set the code to 2140. Okay, so that's the code to that. But what else does the game want me to find here? Okay, so I can start a new test. I don't know what that does. But for some reason, according to his whiteboard, he has session logs on me as well. But it's not in his files. And that's what we're here to find out, though. Oh, wait a second. ACB... What? The code from the... The quest, so it's it's marked as a tip on the side quest here. So AC, ACB, AC, ACB, AC. Okay. What if I do that? A, C, B, A, and C. It stopped. It did something. So it's showing me this. Search to save. What's it doing? Please wait. I'm waiting. Is it spawning something? Oh, it opened up the safe. Holy crap, I'm blind. Uh, another transcribe and three noodle molds. There we go. You seem frustrated. I have months that are just gone. I've been listening to the logs, reading the research, playing catch up. Do you know how many times we've had this conversation? This is the fifth time. Does it always go the same way? Not always. What does that mean? What do you think it means? I think it means you should be concerned as my counselor. You left yourself a message. Would you like to listen to it? No. I think it would help. I said no. That's not me. Why do you say that? I don't know. I just know. You agreed to this. This was all your idea. Yours and Alex's. I didn't agree to any of this. That Morgan is not me. I would never. Do you know what's going on in Psychotronics? Do you? If I did, I couldn't say. You know that. What do you know about the Typhon? <laughs> we shouldn't talk about them. Not without your brother present. Them. You do know, you snake. How can you sit there? Morgan, take a deep breath. Here. I don't want a pill. I want this station shut down. I want Earth- Morgan! I said no! <sighs> okay. I'm going to call Alex. Okay. So we definitely had moments where we didn't agree with what the station was doing. That didn't immediately get us something. But it did get us those three neural modes, but a lot more clarity about our situation, well a bit more, that we were trying to fix this even before the experiments, but still doesn't explain why we then agreed with the experiments in the first place. Seems a bit weird. Is that one of those? No, it can't be because I need to hit it with a wrench. I wouldn't be able to hit it with the wrench over there because there's another one over there. Up top there. But yeah. Yeah, oh wow. This turret has been ransacked as well. It killed something. But, um. I can keep repairing stuff like this. Let's deploy it. Because I'm assuming there's something in my office right now. Hello? Oh no. So this is weird that she stays immaculate. I have your voice. It's a tactic to ease your natural suspicion. I'm sure you realize this. I mention it so that you'll know I'm earnest. Still a bit weird, but... I'll look for more neuromods while you're gone. Okay, great. Station do you, do you store that anywhere? Because I could use that. I could use any neuromods who just toss my way. So with that, I'm going to take a little break in our own office. Next time, we're going to try and clear the lobby of all the monstrosities that are roaming around this place. Because there are at least three heavy hitters and a few crystal nests over there that we need to clear out. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And when we get back, we're going to do exactly that. So see you guys next time. Goodbye.